So hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Love you guys, thanks for coming on over. Today's video is a flip through of a mail envelope uh, journal, junk journal that I made that I turned into a fall journal. Now you, if you've been following my channel, you'll notice that I just did another one called Autumn on My Mind. And it looks like this and I just did a flip through of that in a five part series on what this one started to look like and then all the way through its transition and it's been a blast so I said to myself I'm making another one I still have a lot of paper and supplies left over that I can use so here we go and this is what I came up with <laughs> again this one took a nice chunk of time and my husband was out of town so I could just do whatever I wanted for as long as I wanted. This is just a piece of yarn that I used for the closure. Um, and it's super soft yarn. And I just tied it into the, I didn't even tie it in. It's just kind of loosely hanging inside the, the spine there. So um, that's all I did on that one. And the cover is actually two. This is a magazine cover from a rural light catalog magazine we used to get. And this is a calendar page from a calendar. Yay, right? Um, vellum, vellum uh, words and on fabric and on a piece of this um, burlap. Yeah, and that's my cover. And I just boarded it with some pretty Dollar Tree, or maybe that wasn't Dollar Tree, but yeah, some fun, fun, uh, Lappy lace. And this is a calendar page, and here's the inside of the cover, and the back of, of it had fun to have some some uh, pictures of squash and stuff. So I just love that. Did a stencil around the edge, and yeah, that's just a calendar page with a little flip. On this side, it took a belly band, made a belly band out of a. Oops, let's move that so I don't have that bump. Uh, just a stencil piece of paper that I had and another piece of colored paper that matched as autumn colors to see. This was a card that I just kind of I took apart and uh, yeah, I made a little tassel and a dangle on that. This is some raffia and just some textile threads that I had. Just, I actually rolled it around the edge of a pencil. I guess I could have used a paintbrush too, but I just put it around there and just tied them all up with one other color and paper it just you know just again little bits of junk and uh, that and the sticker and some extra paper on the edge just to make it a little longer and the other side is a top top tuck made from a calendar page isn't that pretty you can see from the reflections this this envelope whatever envelope that was had bumps on it you can see interesting looks like golf ball but anyway this this right here was a calendar page that i split and made into oh the back here too there's the back so you can write on it journal card and this purple envelope did a little teapot uh stencil a stamp and just a little bit of this and that and the other thing on that one and did a little bunch did it apples i have one of the i journal or a um, magazine that I found um, and it had a bunch of apple stuff on it so this is a cider making time poem um, apple words apple pictures this was the cover this is the other side and it just had a lot of fun just playing with apples in fact I need to eat one because there's always good good for you and here's a little tuck I made with a scrap piece of paper just Edged with some more of the magazine page that I'm that page that uh, I use, and here's some more pictures from that magazine, and here's the paper clip. But there's a little heirloom apple word, you know. I just had so much fun using different things for for these two albums. So fun, all the fuzzy textury things. Here's a cool calendar page too that I also made into. Um, this is a background and then made this into a journal card. And here's a tuck, here's some vellum words and some stickers. Just covered up, covered up this whatever envelope this was with a piece of paper on a stamped uh, decorated page. 
And here's that scarecrow. This scarecrow, he tried to make an appearance in my Autumn on My Mind journal, but I just couldn't find a place for him. But here he is in all of his glory. A little bit of Halloween candy corn type of page. So that's what I did. I got some fun gold there. I, don't, I just left it there just because it's fun. And yeah, an autumn picture, a hazy, beautiful autumn evening. Football, got to have some football. Of course, maybe not this fall, but and every other fall I have enjoyed. There's always been football. So some fun page, page coverings there. And this I got in, I got flowers in this. You know, you go to Safeway or whichever grocery store and they have the flower covers that you can get. And I just made a pocket out of it. And this is a calendar, or not a calendar page. I, it's an ideals page. And there was a poem. And so I just left the poem there. So you can either write in the front or not write on it at all because it's just that kind of pretty. And here's an extension of that page that I made into a flip out. Yeah, so you can write there and you can write here. So just in little sunflower stickers. Fun, right? And then I added this fun thing on the edge. And persimmons, what beautiful colors. And it's totally a fall thing right now for... Um, California persimmons are in the fall and I remember when I worked at a school this one gal she would bring some persimmons up from her farm family farm down in California and we would have persimmons at work it was fun and she'd give us recipes and I found some kitty animal pictures in one of the magazines that I had and I made this into a journal page uh Journal pocket. I love the black and white stripes. And I hear some pretty, I mean, just happenstance in a window there. It really messes with the camera, though, when, I, when I'm filming. I can see it. So I took some, uh, some of that football paper and made a pocket and added a bushel of leaves and this little boy and his dog, since I've got animals here. I've got squirrels on my back in my yard all over the place. And so I have a squirrel picture from that catalog magazine, too. And yeah, made this cat picture into a journaling page. It's getting into trouble. Looks like it's checking out that pile over there. So I just had fun with animals in that section. Oh, and then I went purple. Oh my goodness. Purple in the fall, you have the dark, the dark jewel tones. And for this one, I just chose the rosemary. It was another beautiful picture that was in a cat in the magazine. Sorry, I keep saying catalog, I mean magazine. So I took this and I made it into a journal card. And this is a belly band in rosemary in fall. Think about it. Thanksgiving turkeys and the potatoes. I mean, rosemary potatoes. Oh, yeah, that's the best. And this added this, this double double-sided paper clip for a little fun up here and just to hold things together. And this is actually a flip out and uh, more purple there and just some more calendar page stuff that I had used to fill in blank spaces. And here's a journal box and a pocket. And here's a beautiful scene from this page right here they went together I don't know if it's that side or that side I don't know I don't know but they went together so I made a oh, let me turn it over journal card out of that and this beautiful picture is from a, a magazine as well and this is an embroidered fall like cabbages and pears and just really pretty. So I just didn't even cover that up with anything. I don't even know if I'd ever write on that. It's just so pretty. But you can write on this. You can write here and you can write there. So, you know, who knows? And just a fabric edge there <clears throat> to um, just grab onto because that edge is really crooked. <laughs> so here's an old picture from, it's called the Good Old Days Magazine, as you can see right here, Good Old Magazine goodolddaysmagazine.com and it's the cover and uh, 3 dollars I don't even know when I didn't get the date on here but I thought that was just a cool fall picture to put on it put in here and here's that that cat that cat page is right over here so just added these things just used up whatever I had to make this make this all into fall and here is a beautiful poem about peace and rainbows, cloak of yellow, rows of haystacks, and an autumn meadow. There's just some beautiful parts of that poem 
And uh, that this is a continuation of that other uh, sunflower journal card. And so I pulled this. This is part of that also. And then here's another another poem about uh, fall. Fireflies in the evening. Though summertime is ending, it will never quite depart because its precious scenes will always live within my heart. That was just fun having those poems. Yeah, and this is an old ideals magazine that I found these in. These two poems. Just made that there with some fluff at the top. The word golden, just put on a piece of tissue paper. So pretty. And then I found this beautiful wreath from a magazine and I just made that into a journaling circle. Stuck it in this, made this envelope, whatever this envelope was into a pocket. And this is a continuation of that fall scene, the, the trees, it's just such deep colors. I love that gold and orange. You know, you think about sunsets, that's how they color they get in the fall. Here's another picture of the pretty tapestry um, that was uh, another piece of art the gentleman made on the other from the other side of the other this he made this and he made this just so beautiful yeah my mom did some embroidery you see the baskets of yarn there so beautiful and some lace had some lace on there and here's a blow up of this fun huh it's just like I gotta use that on a whole page and I put it on a purple envelope gave it some edging with one of my distress inks. And it's just a wreath of fall leaves. I know that's really obvious, but having having some pretty having some words on a pretty picture just makes a difference. And this is also another calendar page and I added a paper clip to keep it close, but it's a flip out. And here's the other side of that bumpy that bumpy page. Bumpy envelope. So you can see how it would have turned out if I had left it. And instead of putting um, paper here to write on, I just, I did some lines on it with with my um, very high-tech line making tool and, and a one by one inch distress ink on it. So you can still sort of see lines. It's not real, real defined, but it's enough. And if you don't like it, cover it up, right? <laughs> Whoops. And yeah, this was to keep it close, but I need to show this side over here. So here's another piece of that beautiful embroidery and a just a scrap paper. Oh, and this is that page all with bumps that I just, I made a, I took my one by one inch and just hovered over it a little bit and came the bumps out, brought out the bumps. And you can write on it, still a little bumpy, but you can still write on it if you feel like you need to. And I made this into a journaling card too, just uh, on the back of some coffee dyed paper with some, some fun and fuzzy yarn up on the top. And I'll keep it in place there. And another journal card. This is the back cover. And it's like a journal, not a pocket, but a, it kind of has this little flip on it. And there's the one last picture of a cat in the fall with a sunflower. I mean, isn't that just the way the sun is shining on the cat? It just glows and just says, that's fall. That just says fall. So pretty. And I think that's a fish bone from some dog paper that I tried trying to get rid of. But it's uh, it kind of looks like a vine as well. So we're just going to leave it. Added some sunflower on that and added the line. And anyway, so that's my pocket and there's the back page. Again, just some stenciled colored leaves on there and that to hold it in place. It says winter squash, but it just grows in the fall. So I don't know, I guess it, it winter's over, maybe that's the thing. And here's the back cover. So, and I did a little bit of sandpaper scratching on it. I one, there's, you see the bumps too from the, must have been on, I don't even know, but I got bumps on there, but um, some spots. So uh, yeah, I took some, because it was really shiny and I wanted to kind of knock down the shine. So I used a piece of sandpaper just to do that with, um, and it knocked down the shine a little bit. Now the other one, the Autumn on My Mind Journal, I used some, uh, mod, not mod, some collage posh on that one to knock down the shine. But I just tried the sandpaper and it turned out great. It's got some rough edges on it, made it look a little old. 
So yeah, too fun. Got different color. Look at all that fluff up there. Isn't that just, I mean, it's just a really simple, I think there's of mail, there's eight pieces of mail. So if you think about it, that's 32 pieces, 32 pages of journal space to write on, not including the journal cards that have been added uh, for for more writing space. So very cool. These are my two fall journals that I have made in the last month in August. I am just loving it. I hope you guys have time to go into your supplies, you know, especially now and um, take advantage of what you have. Get those things out and make something beautiful. Okay, you guys, this is uh, going to be it for this video. I love you, like I said, and I hope everyone is doing well, feeling loved. And as always, my friends, God bless. Bye-bye.